And now we bring you the special Elvis update. Hello, I'm Bill Bixby coming to you live from a remote field in Alpena, Michigan, where there's been another Elvis sighting. With me is Tom Carter, who spotted Elvis first. Tom, tell us exactly what you saw. Well, Billy here found some Elvis droppings over behind Rose's diner. When we got there, we spotted him in the dumpster. Well, I flushed him out, and boom, he took off like a rabbit. And now we got him cornered over there behind that tree. I see. And how can you be sure this is the real Elvis? Well, I know the king, and that's him. Good enough. Look, there he is. Get a picture of that. Look at those markings. The telltale mutton chops, it's all there, folks. Let the dogs go, boys. Go get him, boys. If he gets to the highway, we done lost him. You're not going to kill him, are you? No, we just going to put some tranquilizers in him. We already got two darts in him now. Of course, the king has always had a high tolerance for tranquilizers. Hey, there he is. Bring him down. This is, the search is over, ladies and gentlemen. Elvis lives, and we're going to prove it. My agent told me not to do this. Can you believe it? This is really something. Oh, my gosh. Let's see if we can get a word with the king. Elvis, I'm Bill Bixby. Why did you fake your own death? Can he hear me? Oh, He's coming, too. Okay. He's more afraid of us than we are. He's gone. He's gone. Incredible, ladies and gentlemen. Three darts in him and he's still going. Oh, we had hoped to bag the king today, but uh, I guess once again he gets through our dragnet. <laughs> oh, he's charging! Go, go, go! Go, go! Go, Jesus! Go, go! 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 Go, Oh, damn it, I dropped the keys. Pick them up! We now return to your regular scheduled program. How you living? What? How you living? What? How you living? In living color. On a drink, slide with the guide on a funky scene. Here comes another one of those funky, funny, more money shows. A cast for laugh, for silence, of bros and sisters with twisters for you to look and listen. It seems you don't believe, so you believe, but I can fit you. So put it to your short and thought, we'll make it snappy with jokes and folks and folks to keep you happy. No need to hold your remote control. Chill, this show got soul. All aboard, all aboard. The train up a chuckle, you better snuggle up, couple up, want a double up, double, yeah. It's hard to believe, but some of the best things in life are free. So fellas, grab your girl, tell her that you love her, cause that's the way you're living when you're living in living color. Coming from 20th Century Fox, The Fist That Rocks the Cradle, a tale about a parent's worst nightmare. As you know, we've already interviewed several potential nannies for our children. And since you weren't referred to us by an agency, we were wondering, could you tell us what your qualifications are to be a nanny? Well, I'm a five-time women's world bodybuilding champion, and I can bench press 240 pounds. I've always wanted to have children of my own. But a few years ago, during a crazy bodybuilding fad, I had my uterus made into a tobacco pouch. <laughs> Care for a pinch? They wanted the perfect nanny. She wanted the perfect family. What's the girl to do? <laughs> You're my baby now. My baby. You won't be hungry anymore. Let's see if I'm lactating. <laughs> Soup's on. <laughs> oh, 
You call that suckling? Come on, baby. Go for the burn. I can't understand it, doctor. The baby just won't take my milk anymore. Well, there's a simple explanation for this. Sometimes it's normal for a newborn to reject its mother's milk during the early months of growth. Okay. But then how the hell can you explain this? She started as the nanny. Now she's the head of the household. <laughs> See anything interesting? There are heard noises. What are you doing? I was just making myself a BLT. Bacon, lettuce, and testosterone. But I can save it for the second course. Why don't you just admit it? When you make love to your wife, it's my face that makes you shiver. You're a state bank. How come you're so nervous? Is there something about the way I move that you find distracting? No. Maybe what you need is a potent aphrodisiac. I'm not the passion pit. Now you're starting to loosen up. What is going on here? I am not going to let you steal my family. Oh my God, look. She's landed on the picket fence. I know, it's finally over. But little did they know, their nightmare had only begun. Like I said, no pain, no gain. 242, 243. That's it, baby. You're not getting any younger. <laughs> the fist that rocks the cradle is the fist that rules the world. Go for the bird. Yeah. Just like that. Hey, man, are you sure about this men's movement thing, man? Hey, man? I don't know if I can talk about all my personal stuff with some dude. Hey, man, there's some things that only guys understand, all right? Why don't you just give this a try? Hey, Roy, man. Hey. How you doing? Love you. All man. right. You must be Jimmy. Hey, what's up? Welcome man? to our men's wilderness uh, group. All right, man. <laughs> hey, everybody, we got a new member to our group. Everyone say hi to Jimmy. Hi, hi Jim. Jim. Hey, hey, all, right, all right. Who wants to start? Uh, I will. My name is Roy. Hi, Hi Roy. Roy. And um, I got some feelings that I'm having a hard time expressing. Man. Well, go with it, man. Let the you come through. Well, you know, after me and my woman, we make love, you yeah. know? Yeah. You know, she wants to hug and cuddle and all that. Wow. You know, what about my needs? Yeah. You know, after making love, I want a sandwich. Can I get a sandwich? <laughs> what about me? Yeah. I'd I make you a sandwich, man. Hey, man, this ain't nothing to be embarrassed about, man. It's about sharing, man, tonight. Oh, yeah, well, you said a little bit too much. <laughs> well, you know, uh, if I could talk, man. Can I talk? <laughs> My name is Willie. Hi, Hi Willie. Willie. Yeah, you know, and I got feelings, too, man. You know, like every weekend, you know, we play basketball, you know, in the park. You know, they play some pickup games and stuff. And usually when they're picking teams and stuff, usually they don't never pick me, man. And, uh... <laughs> We want you, Willie. You know, and I sometimes, you know, I just, you know, I feel unwanted, man. And sometimes I just want to stand up, man, and just say, yo, man, I'm here, man, I'm open, man, I got it posted. Go, 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 All right, Jim, you want to share something? Ah, yeah, look here, man. You know what? I think I'm going to pass on this one, man. <laughs> Y'all bugged, man. I ain't gonna be... <laughs> hey, man, what's so bugged about it? Eh? We're all human beings here. Right. And so we touch each other every once in a while. It's just skin. <laughs> okay, my name is Lou. Hi, Lou. <laughs> A little while back, I was sport fish and uh, had a 200-pound marlin on a 150-pound test line, really giving me a fight. Uh, 
I was just about to get him into the boat, too, when I suddenly realized that I really never knew my father. <laughs> Guess what I'm trying to say is that I hurt somebody hold me. Drew, it's okay, man. It's okay. Oh, man. Thank you, man. Oh, Thomas, you're beautiful. All right. You're always helping us out, man. What's going on with you? Well, I'm Thomas Shepard. Hi, Thomas. Hi, Thomas. Oh, man. Well, something I never really told anybody. Uh, I came from a very strict home. Yeah. And, you know, I always had to, I always had to be grown up. Mm. But, you see, there's, mm. there's a, a little boy, and he lives right in here. What's his name? Timmy. Hi, Hi Timmy. Timmy. <laughs> he never got the chance to come out and play, you know? Mrs. Shepard. Yeah. Can Timmy come out to play? <laughs> come on out, Timmy. Come on. Come to Daddy. Uh, I'm here! I tell you further. Oh, <laughs> uh, look, guys. You know, like, when we first got here, man, I thought y'all was just a bunch of freaks, man, but I'm starting to realize, man, there's a lot of me in all of y'all. All, all right. right. All right. All right. Right. And... What is it? Tim? I just made a stinky. <laughs> Saying, man. Uh, well, I just I got something I want to share too, man. Go with it, man. Go with it. All right, here we go. Y'all ready? Yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, you know, last week, man, I was with my wife and we were driving to her mother's house, you know. And uh, I'd never been there before, so uh, I started thinking I'm getting lost. And I found myself, you know, wanting to pull over and actually ask directions or stop at a gas station. And finally, I just, well, I pulled over and uh, I told my wife I was lost. What? And then I gave her the map and I asked her for some help. You gave her the map? So that you put the... I don't know what's with you, man, but this is a men's movement. Look, guys, don't look at me. I don't know nothing about this. Nothing, man. Get off me, man. Come on, come on. Let's get out of here. Timmy, come on! First came House Party. Then came House Party 2. And now the house is throwing the biggest bash of them all in House Party 3. Starring Teddy Kennedy. I am a party animal, and I have the court papers to prove it. <laughs> Who wants to earn a TV bill the hard way? Also starring the Keating Five. Special guest star, Anita Hill. Miss Hill, it was just awful the way Clarence Thomas treated you. Yes, it was, Senator. Thank goodness there's people like us to stand behind the women of this country. <laughs> that is so right, Senator. Plus, a special appearance by Vice President Dan Quayle. <laughs> House Party 3. Your tax dollars at work. Coming soon to a theater near you, Ghost 2. Oh, yes. I'm in contact with the spiritual world, and I have reached your husband. This is him now. Ah, uh, my dear wife, there's one thing I forgot to tell you uh, before I died. <laughs> Yeah. I've got a 
be me. <clears throat> what are you saying? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm getting some interference. I've gotta be me. <laughs> That's not my husband. Why, you're nothing but a cheat. <laughs> what the hell happened? I'm back, and it's good to be here. Hey, have I played this room before? Is this some kind of joke? No, no, no. It is Sammy, babe. And you brought me here from that big golden nugget in the sky, and I love you for your magical ways. Is it you, you say? Of course it's me. Check this out. Hey, George, spotlight, please. <laughs> I've got high hopes. I've got high oh, hopes. Please, any cheap impressionist can do Sammy. All right, then check this out, babe. Cow, 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 cow. Don't do the crime if you can do the time. Will you keep your eye? Okay, okay, it is you. No one else would take credit for singing the theme song from Beretta. Yeah, it's no jumping jack flash, but it helped pay for the jewelry, babe, okay? What are you doing here? I don't handle talent for comic relief. No, no, that's not it, babe. You see, I need your help, Whoopi Goldberg. Why me? Well, I guess because we have that kind of black Jew thing. You know what I mean. Don't jive me on this one. One more song to sing. One more big performance. And only she could help. Your husband sent me, and he's here with me now. This is not funny, and if you don't stop it, I'm going to call 911. I told you she wouldn't believe me. Tell her, um, um, here come the judge. Here come the judge. Here come the judge. He says, here come the judge. Here come the judge. Yeah, well, right now, here comes the police, because that's who I'm calling. She's not buying. Oh, look, don't worry. I think that was a little bit too hip for the room. All right, check this out. Do my fake Hollywood laugh. <laughs> I can't do you, Sammy. Look, Whoopi, I know you can do this. Just mix a little Herman Monster and Kermit the Frog. Are you okay? Do you want some water? Do you need to sit down? No, no, I'm fine. It didn't work. Now what? Tell her I love her. He says he loves you. Sammy would never say it like that. Tell her I said, sha-boing, boing, boing. What? Just tell her. She'll know. He says, sha-boing, boing, boing. <laughs> Sammy? He is here. Sammy! Sammy, where are He's you? He's here, and he has a message. Look, this is for you, because I think you are such a beautiful cat. All right? This is one of my favorite tunes, and I'm going to lay it on you right now, you dig. knew a man, his name was Sam, he danced for you. <laughs> the old soft shoe. But when he left, the IRS took what was due. <laughs> and left you blue. They took everything they could find. Everything they could find. Except my love for you Mr. Bojangles <laughs> Mr. Bojangles Dance I love you, baby I love you too, Sammy Now hug me like you hug Nixon <laughs> Ghost 2 Check it out, baby Performing the title cut from the soundtrack, Juice, please welcome MCA's recording artists, Eric B. and Rakim. Yeah, yeah, look at color. Sip the juice. I got enough to go around. And the thought takes place uptown. I grew up on the sidewalk while on street talk. They taught the whole New York. I go to Queens for Queens. Get the cool from Brooklyn. They money in Manhattan and never been took it. Go uptown to the Bronx and pull me down. Be strong on the island. Recruit the lay around. Time to build my youth back up. Drop sack up. Suckers get smacked 
jump, don't doubt the clout. You know what I'm about. Knocking niggas off, knocking niggas out. Shaking them off, breaking them off, waking them off, breaking them off. I'm standing on shaky ground, too close to the edge. Let's see if I know the ledge. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna pump it up like this right here. Corner striking, shorty's here. I can't cop deep, living for these beer. Here's a sip for the proof that's deceased. If I get the fans, then they rest in peace. Somebody got a self, I just might spare one. You give a brother a fair one. Stay alert for me. And I do work with these, like Hercules. Twist the south for split your right jaw. I don't like your type of night for. School, but I move like an army. Pull a proof down, eight brothers try to bomb me. Or put brothers to rest like Elliot Ness. I don't like stress. The streets ain't a place for innocent bystanders to stand. Nothing's gonna stop the plan. I'll chill like the Chino, rob like the Nero, black and Beto, die like the hero. Living on shaky ground, too close to the end. Let's see if I know the ledge. Coming, 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 coming. Shells lay around on the battleground, dead bodies are found throughout the town. Try to put shame in my game, don't make a name, I'ma put it in a rhyme, put it in your brain. Rip the block like a buckshot, who cares where it goes? Just keep the cats closed. No remorse when a life is lost. Pay my dues and pay the cause. And my pocket's still fat, wherever I'm at, I get the welcome back. Even if my crew is steep, the one deep, I attract attention, people like to pee. So come say hi to the back, I don't say goodbye, I don't plan to die. Cause I get loose, and I got truth, and crazy juice, and control of many, like I have total command, hang out with Smith and West, I'm trying to play me, I'm at war a lot, like a war to die, but no one is shot, my gun is warm a lot, and I could be, the smoke will never clear, areas in fear, it's just here severe, living life too close to the edge, hoping that I know the ledge, come on, what, 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 what? Morning, no time to yawn. Showers on, powers on. I'm late for school. I catch the train. Girl, sip the style and whisper my name. I push up like an exercise. Check the intel like an inspector thigh. Select the best one. Pull to the side. Keep her occupied for the rest of the ride. Read up my resume. She's already cool. We'll just make me out of school. We can moan and groan until your mom's come home. And you'll be calling me out. Don't capone. Sweat me. She didn't want to let me loose. Don't get me. That's if you want to sip the juice. Cross the streets and wait me. So I take my gun off safety Cause a lot of niggas hate me coming out of the building They set me up, spray with automatics They wet me up, 